Holy packs. Okay, guys, showing you a couple boxes here of a very, very recent purchase I just made. Uh, made it through OfferUp. So uh, somebody was selling all this for 50 bucks. Um, what I don't know much about modern stuff. There's a lot of modern things in here. But there were a bunch of old sets, a couple of you know junk wax sets. And then there's a couple of uh, new sets, 2021. And I think there's a 2022 in there as well. So I was thinking I could sell those and get my money back. And then whatever's in here would just be icing on the cake. And, you know, maybe I can, you know, sell some of this stuff off and get even more money. But uh, let's, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to dive into it here um, and set this down. And first we'll start with the sets. And then we'll show you what's here in the loose cards. Uh, I don't think we'll go over all these loose cards because some of them look like base set cards. But uh, definitely show you some of the nice things in the plastics and some of the maybe there's some short prints in there as well all right let me pause this and get back to you all right so first set that we are looking at here is nothing spectacular but it is a very classic 1988 tops baseball set but it is still wrapped cellophane wrapped and everything else so not going to open it up normally what if it was uh unwrapped i would go through it and try to find some of the errors and everything else that'd be kind of fun to see if it has all that in there but since it is wrapped up i will keep it sealed and probably just try to sell it off that um since it is sealed i think i could probably get more for it than you know just a traditional and usually i'll sell this for like try to sell for like 10 bucks if i could get a someone to buy the whole set for 10 i'd be really happy but maybe i can get 15 for this or something i don't know you know, my hopes aren't too, too high on that one. Uh, the next one, oh, that's actually, I don't want to rip that. So let's go to this one. The next one is the 89 Tops baseball set. Now this one is not sealed, but it is a little bit loose. Um, so I have a feeling that maybe there might be some cards missing in this. Um, again, there's no Griffey rookie in here. Obviously, the traded was his first, um, was the first one for that. So, but there's the Randy Johnson rookie in here. And I do have a couple extra copies of that. So, worst comes to worst, if I have to backfill some cards in here, I will. Uh, and then sell the set that way. So, I'll have to go through this set and see if I am actually missing anything. So, that one I'm going to put aside. But, worst comes to worst, if I have the whole set sell it you know again i think that one should be about another ten dollars or so i don't think the 89 top set really goes for all that much and speaking of not going for all that much here's a 1990 clear set uh this one is still cellophane wrapped so it is still sealed never opened um but again there's nothing major in here there's no no huge stars no huge rookies uh, the, you know, nothing that hasn't been done 5 million times already by Fleer and Junk Wax. So, you know, maybe if I can get 10 for the sealed set, that'd be great. You know, so who knows, maybe I'll combine those sets and just put them all together. But the idea there, just trying to get a little bit of money, maybe half of the money that I spent for this lot. Next set is the 2021 baseball. So I know, you know, you buy this from like Target or something like that. And, um, it usually costs around 40 bucks. So maybe I can resell this one for 20, 25 bucks, somewhere in that range. But he did, uh, when I talked to the guy, he said he did keep the cards. He put some of the rookies aside. So one, I'm going to check, you know, it's really loose. So I'm going to check to make sure everything is in there. I have to redo that. But each one of these comes with uh, this particular one, I guess this is the purple variation, includes one chrome rookie image variation. So what this guy did was he put, the rookies that were the key rookies, you put them in a little plastic, a little penny sleeve. So you got, uh, you know, some of these guys, Dylan Carlson, Joey Bart, uh, Alec Bohm, and Joe Adele. Right, got those guys, got those rookies. But the Chrome card uh, is the Dylan Carlson card here. So number 285. So I wonder if that's the same number that he was yeah 285 but it is a different um front right so it's not the normal 
print. So I almost wonder if this is, I have to look this up, make sure this isn't a short print of some sort, but because I thought the Topps Chrome card would be the same picture, but maybe it's different. But it does have the RC, it is the rookie. So I just got to make sure this isn't a short print because maybe this is worthwhile of selling on its own and, and not including it in the set. But pretty cool card nonetheless. But if it is, you know, normal or, you know, just a, the regular Chrome, then I'll, I'll add it back into here and include it with the set when I when I sell it in, in total. So maybe worth a little bit more knowing that the Dylan, Dylan Carlson card is the one card you're gonna get in it. And now this one is the green version of the 2021 baseball. Uh, so this one comes with the 660 cards plus the five rookie image variation cards. So again, this guy took out the key rookies, put them in penny sleeves, right? Same ones as before, all these guys. And then here are the five variation cards uh, that he included with it. But Daniel Murphy, uh, Chapman, let's see, Barnhart, Delano DeShields, which I guess is Delano DeShields Jr. Because I don't see how he could still be playing. Uh, and then Edwin Diaz. So no one too crazy, no no rookies or anything like that. So certainly some someone I'll, or something I'll be able to certainly add back to this set and include it and make sure whoever gets it gets those cards. But I have to just double check and make sure. Right, there's a gap in here. So I just got to make sure this um, everything's included. But, you know, with these sets so far, I believe I could certainly get my money back. So it's $50 all in to get this. All right, next up is the 2022 set. So this one has the Wander Franco rookie in it. Um, so this one also comes with, so it's the green one, so it has the five rookie image variation cards. But I don't see why they're called rookie. Are they both rookie cards? Plus five rookie image variation cards. They're not rookie cards though. I don't know why. I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but it didn't seem like there was five. So I guess this is where I'm confused. I, so I think these would just be the normal rookies included in this set. I don't think these are the five variations, um, but I'll have to double check, make sure they're not. Um, but you got O'Neill Cruz, you got Shane Baz, Jaron Duran, you got Marsh, you got the Wander Franco, and then you got this one, the top chrome Shane Bass. See, now this is not, so this one I feel like would be the same as the other one. You get the, this is the chrome rookie image variation card. So this is probably why there's a different picture of Shane Bass in here, right? But that's not what this said. This said this is supposed to have the five variation cards. So I'm not so sure what's going on there, but in any case, I'll have to double check just to make sure all the other cards are there. And then I can maybe post this online. So, again, maybe, you know, get 20, possibly 30 bucks for it. Um, I think that obviously the 2021 and 2022 sets have more value than the, the other sets. But, you know, we'll see. I think that's that was my goal. My goal was to get the money back from from the sets and then whatever I got in here would just be sort of icing on the cake. But with the way these things are looking, whoop, almost dropped them. That would not have been good. Um, let's look at these as well. There's a lot of little inserts here. So I almost wonder Oh yeah, here we go. All right, some nice rookies there. All right, we'll get into the rest in a minute here. But, so let's see here. Let's start with these, because these seem to be a little abnormal. 
as far as uh, everything else goes. So there you got some optic stuff, so a little bit older. You got a 2019 Dustin Pedroia. You got Big Poppy. So you're gonna have some Red Sox cards here because again, we're up in the New England area and people are Red Sox fans, so. You're gonna probably get most of them, but this is 2007, Top's Finest. That's pretty good. You got a Pedro Martinez, all-time greats. You got a Mosaic a Refractor Noah, not serial numbered, but 2021. Sander Bogarts, that's always good. Fire, Tops Fire, 2022. You get Bryce Harper with the hot sauce. And it's another Mosaic card, 2021. Not serial numbered, none of these are serial numbered yet. You get another hot sauce with uh, Mookie Betts, but this one looks like a refractor of some sort. A little different than the uh, the one from Bryce Harper. And this one's $3, If in case anybody's wondering about that. But you know what's kind of cool about these is it will definitely have a... Uh, might have some giveaway items from this now, I think. All right, Allen and Ginter, you got Burt. Bly 11, we'll put in the L there, Bly 11. And this is, a, this is a 2022 one. So this is, I guess, supposed to be game used memorabilia. I assume it's his jersey, but you never know. This is a genuine, all right. This is a genuine Topps Allen & Ginter relic card that features mem memorabilia from Burt, Bly 11. And then uh, I have to make sure I say his last name that way because I never say his last name correctly. Uh, this memorabilia contained in this card is not from any specific game, event, or season. So hopefully it's his. It's just maybe some, some jersey that he wore a while ago and he just cut it up, made a card. And you got this autograph card of Hansen. Looks like a Steve Hansen, Scott Hansen. And he's a sports anchor reporter. Well, yippee skippy. All right. And up. Oh, there was a card in here. I don't know where that card went. We'll find it. All right. And then uh, you got a bat. The Major League Materials game used memorabilia from Brendan Rogers. I don't know who you are, but it's numbered out of 50. So that's pretty cool. Take that. Now, this is nice. A Chaz Chisholm rookie card autographed. Wow. All right, this has to be serial number, no? Really? Not serial number? 2021. Well, this is a nice card. Or I imagine more than a few bucks anyway, right? To get his rookie uh, autographed. In great shape, too. So hold on, we'll put that one aside there. And then pick a shot to win the Home Run Challenge 2023. All right. All right, so Vlad, didn't Vlad Jr. just win it? Maybe I should scratch him off and enter this. What do I get? Uh, am I past the date to get it entered by? Must receive between 2.15 and 4.19.23. Ah, missed it. But he won. Could have could have sent that in and got that. So you got Pete Alonzo, Goldschmidt, Vlad Jr. You got Francisco Lindor, stars of the MLB. You got an old Dustin Pedroia, uh, just the rookies, 2004. This is a minor league card for Dustin Pedroia. Oh, a Raphael Devers rookie card, Bowman. That's pretty cool. Back in 2018. And then Kyle Tucker, his rookie card. Nothing too crazy about that one. And Raphael Devers, his rookie card for Donruss. Bo Bichette rookie. Pete Alonzo rookie. Oh, what year was that? This is, a, this is actually the 1992 uh, Tops. Uh, so this is uh, 2019, but it's in the 92 Tops. 92 Tops or 93 Tops? 92 Tops, I think. I don't know. One of those 90s. And then Bogart's rookie, who is no longer on the team. But let's continue on with those because those cards were pretty good so far. And then you got a Roger Hornsby uh, commemorative medallion card. So celebrate 150 years. And this is out of 150. So congratulations, you received the 150th anniversary commemorative medallion card, 2019. That's pretty cool. But 
Not sure what I can do with that one. And now this one's pretty interesting. Here we got a 2018 Leaf Exclusive Edition Shohan Otani Rookie. Gem Mint 10, but graded by SPA. Not so sure I've heard about them, but SPA Authentication Product Supreme. All right, if you say so. And then Fernando Tatis, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., his 2018 Leaf Rookie. So two 2018 Leaf Rookies, both Gen Min 10s, Shohan Otani and Fernando Tatis. So very interesting cards. Um, not by any reputable grading company that I am aware of, but uh, that is that is pretty nice. I'll have to look these up. These might be worth either... I wouldn't get them re-slabbed because PSA will never give it a 10 if it knows some junk company didn't give it a 10. It might be worth cracking and then submitting to PSA or maybe giving away the card. Who knows? Stay tuned. We might have another giveaway option coming up. I'm not going to give away the Shohan Atani yet. I got to look that one up. But the Tatis Jr. maybe. That would be fun. All right, let's roll into these real quick. So there's more plastics on the bottom, so we'll make sure we go through those. Uh, here's a Todd Helton game-used bat. All right, so maybe you're the one who fell out of your... There you go. You slide right in. Uh, let's see. So this is Alan Ginter 2022. And... So no specific game, but it is a genuinely used bat bat so real memorabilia and now this is a clayton kershaw that's not a um this almost looks like a fake card what is this 2027 2007 bowman so this is i don't know this kind of it's weird this thing looks fake hold on It's a Clayton Kershaw rookie, but the the autograph looks printed on. So I don't know. Maybe that was just the style of that Bowman, that year Bowman. But this is a rookie card for Clayton Kershaw. So that's pretty interesting. I'll put that aside. Not a real autograph, though. Simulated or a facsimile autograph. Same thing with this one. This is a facsimile autograph of Mookie Betts, but this is a Mookie Betts. 14 out of 30 photos, so this is interesting, too. So 2018, I don't know if that was his rookie year or not. Usually they put, like, an RC on there if they if it was, but that's pretty cool, nonetheless. This one's certainly just a <laughs> a relic card, so it's just a iconic ink Mike Trout, but this is a facsimile autograph. I don't even know if this is, like, a real... Yeah, this is not a real card, uh, or it's just some sort of runoff card uh cody bellinger it looks like a like a pink prism or some sort of op, uh, rookie card here from 2017 he may be coming to the yankees pretty soon so we'll see if he gets traded that way stephen kwan there's a 2023 parallel here and then we got some rookies from 2023 uh Ooh, Julio Rodriguez. That's always good. Everybody likes him right now. And then you got Greg Maddox, Shane Bieber. So what are these aces? Are these like, it seems like actual playing cards. 2023 MLB The Players. So I don't know why you got Greg Maddox in this. If he's in all these guys. But must be running an ode to them. Uh, then you got some Relic Team Logo patch cards. Pete Alonzo with the Mets. Corey Seager. Bo Bichette. Christian Yellick. Man, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I think I got my money's worth. All right. And Marte. All right. So now we got Stars of the MLB. Tops Chrome. Fernando Tatis. So this is the 2023. So these are relatively newer. I haven't really looked into these too much. You got Jazz Chisholm, Aaron Judge, Bergman. So you're going to have all the good names here. You got uh, and then with the chrome, you get a little bit of the uh, rainbow 
foil to it. You got Trout, Lindor, Freddie Freeman, a couple rookies here. Green, I don't know him all that well. Pete Alonzo. Here's that, uh, was it Rushman? Rauschman? Or Rutz? Rutschman? But it's like the Bly Levin. Um, but he got his rookie. I know he's a big name here. You got Shohan Otani. So you're getting some big names. Juan Soto. Nice. Bryce Harper. Any other rookies here that I should be aware of? I don't know. You got Julio Rodriguez. Not a rookie, but still stars of the MLB. And again, more Shohan Otani. Wander Franco's here. And then these are all, I guess he plasticed up the ones and kept, uh, gave me all the reprints. So that's pretty cool. That was nice of him. And then you get a uh, one-two punch. Those are just, I guess, just kind of basic cards here. And then going back to some of the randomness, uh, you got Raphael Devers, Producers, but this is, looks like a $5 card from 2021. So it's got like the little mosaic on it. You got a uh, reprint of the Mickey Mantle card here. I don't know if it's a officially licensed top product or not. You got Freddie Freeman, Producers, same thing with the... Uh, Raphael Devers card, Dominators, Babe Ruth. I don't think that's that's not serial numbered. David Ortiz, some sort of a gold signature card here for Bowman. So 2004 Bowman. And then another Raphael Devers card. This one looks nice too. Uh, kind of like a black and white one here for Topps Chrome. And it is a 2021, so few years off of his rookie card, but pretty nice. And ended it with an Ichiro card from Bowman. This looks like uh, 2002 Bowman, so not quite his rookie. So it might be, it might be a second year card for him because he only has one year, he only has one year with it. So I don't know if it's his rookie or not. I think 2001 was his rookie. Like 2001 would be the updates for the rookie and everything else. But pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. So now we got some 35 years. So we got the 88 to 2003. I like this. You know, this 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 kind of appeals to uh, <laughs> my my generation. I think more than anybody. But I like the trout there. You got Jeter Downs rookie. Oh, a couple of them. Obuchet, Nolan. Oh, I was gonna say I thought that was Nolan Arenado for a second. I was like, that's not a rookie. Uh, Nolan Gorman rookie. So there's that Brendan Rodgers. We had his card before. Michael Harris the second. Jose Ramirez. Frank Thomas. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like that one. It's almost like he's like glowing a little bit. And we got some variations of the 2023 tops. No one too crazy. Oh, you got uh, Yadalier Molina giving him the hats off here. The blue... The blue cards, I think that comes with those uh, rack boxes or the, um, so I think these ones come in the, so you had to open the certain, certain rack boxes to get those blue variation cards. And then you get a, looks like a chrome card is in a sense, but it's almost like a, a variation of the base card. Josh Donaldson doing the old leg kick. And Contreras. So, pretty cool. And then these seem to be just some base cards. You got Judge and Trout together on a card. That's nice. And Judge walks off. But, yeah, these look to be just some some base cards here. Maybe get oh there you go. You got Wander Franco Future Stars card. But yeah, let me just skip past these because I know most of these are just the base. Seems like. Uh, we got any other plastics? Oh, we got a couple other things in here. Oh, all right. 
Yeah, Willie Mays 2020. Welcome to the 2020 club. What the heck is the 2020 club? Uh, must be stolen bases, home runs, and what's the other 20? Doubles, triples? Yep, and triples. Okay. What? 20 triples? 35 round trippers stand the most of members of the 2020 and 38 stolen bases. We also enrolled in the 37 period with a third time four season. He led the leads in triples. Wow, 2020 20. I never heard about that. I guess this is the same thing for uh, George Brett, too. I had no idea. All right. And then greatest hits. You got Mookie Betts. I guess he did something pretty good. And then Pool Holes hit, what, he did 500 home runs or something in that uh, in 2022 or 600 home runs, something like that. And then Brett Batty, I don't know what he did. He was a rookie. And then you got more 88 tops, Jose Altuve. I like this Donnie Baseball one. That's a good one. And Dylan Cease and Jeff Bagwell. It's almost his real rookie card. But they're yeah, pretty cool. I don't know why they wouldn't just put his whole career in there. But anywho. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, so what else do we got here? We got home field advantage. Oh, here you go. Here's Adley with the Baltimore Orioles. Here's rookie card. He got a bunch of his rookie card. Mount Vernon. Hmm. Got a whole bunch of his rookie cards. All right, what's here? Oh, there's another card in here. Hold on. Oh, it's an Eddie Murray card. Nice. And then, man, this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys are still with me here. This is a lot of stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of Allen and Ginter cards. This is from 2022. I'm not a big fan of the Allen and Ginter. It seems like they span a whole bunch of weird stuff. They got a lot of old guys. They got a lot of new guys, right? I don't know. I just don't see the appeal oh, you got Mario Rivera though I don't mind that but like what, what, what do I want green lights for like what what is this for and ducks you got Maris so I have no idea if these are any good what a steal and you get the guys like this like some dudes I don't even know so they have like these minor celebrities or influencers and everything else so no thank you and then you got a cat when the heck would you want a cat Oh, Nolan Ryan, okay. So that I can understand, but why Why a cat? Why a dust storm? Who cares about a dust storm? All right. And a mop. All right, that's where I give up. I give up on Alan Gizzer. Why, why the hell would you put a mop in there? All right, anyway. So that's annoying. Um, so those are those mini ones there. And then, so there's still a bunch of cards still here in the box. But it's looking like all base set cards from 2023. So I'm not going to go through that. I'm going to grab an album here real quick. We'll see about going through that instead. So, all right. This looks like it is Allen and Ginter cards. But these are the, the bigger ones. Uh, but it looks like you got Trout up here in the corner. You got Judge. You got some, some good baseball guys. Uh, does not appear to be in numerical order in any way. So looks like he was just, whoever was collecting this, just put all this in the album itself. But you got some good stars in here. You got Griffey Jr. up here, Betts, Schmidt, Berto Clemente, Devers, Sandberg, Chisholm. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of guys in this one. A lot of good guys, anyway. Ichiro, Otani. So... Yeah, this is a this is nice, but again, it's not like the smaller ones. I'm not seeing really. This looks like to be like all baseball, for the most part. Randy Johnson in there. You got Clayton Kershaw, Wander Franco rookie card. Okay, Kirby Puckett, Robin Yount. There's Nolan Ryan. So interesting stuff. I don't know if this is like a complete series one or not. I just have to see if maybe we can get it in some sort of numerical order to see if I'm missing anything. Here's a young looking Derek Jeter. Oh, 
Wait a second, there's Jonathan Taylor though. That's, he's a football player. Odd. All right, so there's a random football player in this one. So it makes me wonder if there is, oh, yeah, here we go. Who the hell is that kid? All right. Um, I don't know. So now we're getting, uh, so now it's getting into some weird randomness. Hey, you got Joe West. Okay, you got a, you got an umpire. Oh, Rosenhaus. Now you got, you got, and be real. You got Cypress Hill in here. What, what's going on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So this is definitely taking a turn. Oh, she's the, uh, she was like the, the woman manager there. I don't know how you say her name. Balkovic, Balkovec. I don't know. Um, all right, so you got a, and then you got a soccer player in there, and you got some rock stars in there. You got an actor. You got Danny Glover in there. All right. Well, that's just weird. I don't particularly care for for all that. All right, I'm gonna stop looking at that one. And then let's see. I imagine then the other album is gonna be more of the same. Hopefully not. Alan and Ginter cards. Not a fan. So, all right, this looks to be 2023 cards. And you got Bobby Witten there. Pools. So this one, you got Shohei Natani over here in the corner. So he, he doubled these up. Oh, oh, I dropped some. He doubled these up on this side. There's Clayton Kershaw. So this is pretty cool. Mike Trout right here. Uh, card missing. I wonder what card would be missing. I wonder. Hold on a second. Let me see if this is actually. I'm going to move some cards down so we don't knock things over. Um, I wonder if this is actually in order at all. All right, that's 41. That's 40. All right, so that's 39. All right, so it's in order. So this guy was putting together the whole set, so maybe he's just missing that one. I'll just look that up, see what card that is. Maybe he has it in here and he just forgot to put it in or I can find it. But yeah, it looks like he's trying to put together the whole set of, I don't know what, there's Aaron Judge right here. I don't know what series, this series one. So probably like 200 cards in that first series one, right? All right, here's another one he's missing. So, ah, pretty cool. Pretty cool that he tried to put together the whole series and put it in an album. So he looks like he's just missing a couple of, uh, here's Oswald's rookie. Uh, just missing a couple of things. So pretty cool. He's got a lot of the rookie cards in here. A lot of the big names. So I don't think he, he was holding anything out or, or took anything for himself. Can't imagine there being anybody in here that he wanted to to keep. But I think that's you know that's pretty much it for for this thing. I, again, going through the remainder of the base sets there, uh, but we showed showed you all the good ones. I don't know if the, I don't know what what the big rookies are here in 2023 uh, that I can share with you guys to see if we got it. But here's Jeter Downs. I think he's a bigger name. But I mean, for fifty bucks, I mean, you can't beat what I got, right? I mean, it's I think it's I think it definitely got my money's worth and then some. There's Cody Clemens, who I think he got busted for drunk driving or something like that, or his brother did one of the two. Um, so I think for sure I can get my money back and then work my way up to making a little profit on this. So I don't know what I'll do with this. Here's Gunnar Henderson. I think he's a Good name there for the Orioles. I don't know what I'm going to do with the new stuff yet, but I'm certainly going to sell off the sets and then try and see if I can get my money back that way. And then if I'm even, I can maybe keep some of these cards for myself, add some of these cards to the giveaway, and then see about what I can do with these 2023 cards. Maybe uh, uh, sell them off, try to see if I can sell the set or, or whatever. Sell them off is a lot. But in any case... I mean, pretty cool. I haven't really gotten any of these newer cards yet, so this is my first dive into this set in this series. Uh, they're, they're nice. I, I kind of like the the outline of them. Um, you know, I'm not. I don't know. I, I guess I'm a little torn on showing the face here uh, with the name, but I think 
as far as uh, they are distinguishable. I thought I thought the last few years they were all kind of looking together, like looking the same. So it's nice that they're kind of mixing it up and making it look a little different. So, but all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was a long video. If you stayed to the end, congratulations, man. Who you guys? You hung out. <laughs> this is a lot to go through, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys think uh, are in agreement with me here that I got my money back. There's Julio Rodriguez. So we got 330 in the set. So maybe we're missing just a couple. And then, oh, looks like we're missing a few stars of the MLB as well, which is surprising. But you got Trout, you got Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, you got no, you got Shohan Otani over there, Soto, Vlad, a bunch of rookies, Alonzo. So still some good stuff. All right, well, we'll see what I can do with it. But I know this is a long one. Thanks again for hanging out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the collection. I definitely enjoyed going through it. Um, but let me know what you guys think, if you guys think I got my money's worth or not, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, guys. See you.